Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we continued on the Slayer and PVM adventures at Vorkath. Got the first like full task done there, trying out the Lance and the Fang. And also got a couple of Elite Diaries done. Got a Karamja and Fremnik Elites done. And it's especially nice having the Karamja Elite Diary done now. I want to get that done because now I'm getting back into Slayer and I had all the requirements for it. Um, which is really nice for Slayer because I could teleport straight to Duradel, which is the master that I use for almost every task, except for every 50th I use Konar. And uh, let's see what task we get from Duradel because we just finished that Vorkat task. So we'll see what adventure we're going to have today. Okay, well, I kind of finished Calphite Queen already. Um, so whenever I get this task, I'm just going to go to like the small Calphite workers with the Karis Partisan of Breaching because it's just a super fast task at this point for me. It's like free Slayer points. And we are starting off this video at about 800k to 99 Slayer, which is the goal for now. I don't know if I'll stop Slayer at 99 and maybe move on to another skill in the meantime, but... Either way, whether it's before or after max, I will eventually get a bunch of post-99 XP in Slayer because it's my favorite skill. And this skill just creates so many potential adventures. What I'm hoping for the most is DKs because we got the Fremnik Elite Diary done, so I'll get the Noted Bones from DKs, which I still need quite a lot for prayer. And also because we don't have a B-Ring yet. I got the freaking Rex pet before the B-Ring, so let's see what we get next. Oh, demonics, yes. But before we get into it, we have a word from today's sponsor. We have a word from today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it protects you and your data while surfing the internet. With Nord, you can connect to over 5,200 servers in 59 countries. Nord has double data encryption, which means you can route your traffic through two VPN servers at once. Your internet service provider is profiting off selling your data, but with a VPN, you can keep your information safe. It's also important to use a VPN when you're in a public location like a coffee shop or an airport. As gamers, NordVPN can help you by preventing DDoS attacks. You can connect to NordVPN on up to six devices, including your phone and even Android TVs. Another benefit is that it lets you access games, movies, shows, videos, discounts, and more that wouldn't otherwise be available in your country. Nord is so confident with their product that they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. You can try it out and see if it's for you. With the holidays coming up, Nord is a great gift to set up for someone that you care about, or even just to treat yourself with. For a limited time, with my link, Nord is giving you an extra 4 months for free with purchase of a 2 year plan. So get protected on the internet today using my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash wildmudkipvpn. And thank you to Nord for sponsoring this video. Going into demonics here, uh, it looks like the only difference in my gear slash inventory setup is I have the Avernic Defender now over the Dragon Defender I had last time. So I can update that. And there's also the upgrade rune pouch, which isn't going to make a difference for me. I always find the whip to be perfectly fine here. I'd much rather save the arc light charges for like Serb or Zami. I was considering using the Fang, uh, but the demonics already have zero defense. So I think the whip would be better DPS here. That's what the DPS calculator said as well, but I don't know if the rune light DPS calculator is up to date or if that includes the double accuracy roll for the Fang. But either way, the time spent here thinking about it and entering in DPS calculations will just make it take longer that rather than just going in there and killing demonics. So uh, let's take a look at the collection log before we go in. I am at three Zenites and just over 1800 KC. Zenites are one in 300 and I'd also like to get the monkey tail to finish the log, which is one out of 1.5 K. So with that, let's begin. Wow, first trip at demonics in a while and I got a 31 kill trip. Bro, um, dude, this, this is so annoying. <laughs> and that is the end of the demonics task with not a single unique. And I switched to light bearer, which was nice. Next we got, I forgot there's tasks that exist that aren't like boss tasks, but hey, you know, maybe fire giant boss coming soon. You know, what's gonna be really nice for AF King super hard is the SGS combined with the light bearers. So I just keep on getting more and more specs and restoring prayer. And I have the bone crusher to automatically bear the bones and I'll restore my prayer points being in the catacombs. Such a nice AFK setup because who actually likes playing the game? It's also uh, thinking if now that the Fang's been nerfed, I'm not sure what's better now for just general AFK Slayer between the Whip and the Fang. I feel like the Whip, because Fire Giants and a lot of other similar monsters don't have much or any defense for melee. So uh, the thing that makes the Fang so good is that it has like super increased accuracy. 
But if Monster has zero defense, then the accuracy doesn't matter, I would think. Those are the major things stopping me from doing Chambers is a freaking a good melee weapon and a, excuse me, good magic weapon. Hey, just enjoy the journey getting there because if you focus so much on the end destination, when you oh finally God. get there, you'll look back and wonder where all the time went. I should be like recording my desktop audio right now and just using you for my clips. Free content. You've been free content for me over the years, so it's only fair. Yeah, I'll get you one day. I'm, I'm not prepared right now. This combo with the SGS and the Lightbearer Ring is so nice. It's been making me able to do a lot of these tasks just in one trip. At the very worst, allowing me to like stay somewhere a lot longer than I would be able to otherwise for these AFK tasks at least. Now before I grab another task, let me just drop this. Oh, it's my first time getting vampires. Last time I trained Slayer, I forgot I had just unlocked those. I've never had a blood shard on any account before, or maybe in the leagues, I think. Um, but in the main game, at least, I've never had this as a Slayer task. Uh, but I do remember we go to Darkmire, and there's an altar, so I should just be able to camp, I think, Prey Melee and Piety the whole time while I kill these guys. And they're automatically aggressive to you if you're not wearing the Vire outfit, so you just literally just stand here, AFK, and you could pray when your prayer is running low. And they dropped the Blood Shard at 1 out of 1.5k, so it's pretty rare. Uh, we don't have any Blood Shards on our account at all, we've never had one. And it'd also be nice to get it just because it's a collection log slot. I could also collect the Vampire Dust uh, for Sepulcher. I'm done with Sepulcher, but maybe Spook could use it for whenever she goes back. Wait, can I bank without the Vire outfit? Oh. Okay, I guess I should grab that and keep it in my inventory. Why is there a drop that's worth 100k? That could have been my blood shard, bro. Oh yeah, by the way, I started using um, Proselyte here just to make it a little bit more AFK. You do take a little bit of damage each time you use the altar, but it's like barely anything. If I do end up like taking a lot of damage, I could always just use the SGS spec to restore my health. All right, I guess we're going back to Demonics today. Oh, virtual 108 hit points. Oh, a light frame. That's not the right thing, but that's that's a thing. Damn, I just got like a 50 kill trip. I just kept getting prayer pot drops and then they de-aggroed so I wasn't taking that much damage. And the light bearer just helps so much here. Well, it's been a long day, Demonics, and this is the last kill of the task and all we got was the frame earlier. We're now up to a max stack, 2147. Demonics, Casey. Thermy time. Actually, it's dinner time, but later tonight or tomorrow, it'll be thermy time. I'm chopping the tree, but I'm, I'm not facing the tree. How am I doing it? I'm chopping the air right now. For thermy, I'm just gonna try doing the one kill trip method. So I just teleport home after every kill and I can restore everything at the pool. I can save super strength potions by just using the dragon battle axe spec. And also don't need the Draymon staff because I have one elite done. So I'll take the fairy ring over to the thermy cave. And normally I'd bring like a spec weapon with me like dragon dagger or something but i'm just bringing the fang instead the wiki says that the fang would be better to use than the whip here i'm not sure if that's accurate or up to date since they nerfed the fang but i'll just try it out and see how it goes i'm just gonna use the spec on the fang which will be nice too because that way i don't have to worry about switching to the dragon dagger for every single kill and i really shouldn't need food here i have like emergency food just in case but i shouldn't have to use it i'm using the imbued heart to boost my magic level because the higher your magic level the higher magic defense you have so it should help me take slightly less damage Thermi attacks every two ticks but the fang is a five tick weapon so by walking under i'm theoretically able to trade one to one hits instead of one to 2.5 hits from Thermi. There's also the red X method, but I don't think it's really worth doing since I'm only doing one kill trips and I'm not worried about HP. Oh my god, the thing is freaking awesome, dude. I love that. I know it's only a one kill sample size, but um, I'll, yeah, I'll just be teleporting home after every kill. Let's take a look at the collection log as well for Thermi. I do have the pet. I don't believe I have the jar though, so... Yeah, generally I would prefer to get the jar first at a boss and then get the pet later on because it feels like a lot more worthwhile to grind the boss at that point. Um, but we still also need the dragon chain body for the Calfly Queen log as well, so I would prefer to get the dragon chain body before we get the jar of smoke. But yeah, so uh, I started this task with 189 KC. And yeah, I, I had the pet by 189. <laughs> I kind of wanted to just keep a low KC for a while because I feel like it just looks cool to have a low KC with the pet, but I knew it was bound to happen eventually that I would ruin that low KC because I do have to fill the log at some point. This casket it is the casket from Thermi. Is that new? Blue dragon mask? No, we had that. Oh well. Okay, we got an elite casket this time from Thermi. Oh, we got something new! Light Infinity Color Kit. 
You could recolor three pieces of the set. So we would need like three of those eventually. It's a new collection log slot. There's also the Dark Infinity color kit too. So theoretically for completionists, I would have to do a lot of mage training arena. I gotta store that in the bank because you can't store in the POH. That is minus one bank slot. I'd have to actually get the infinity piece and attach it to it to store it in the POH. Another hard clue from Thermi. Another elite clue from Thermi. These are one in 500, so here we go. Oh my God. Dragon chain body ornament kit along with the master. Wow, I would put this on my dragon chain body if I had one. Oh no. Man, you gotta drop the master and that's minus one bank spot until I get a D chain. This is why I'm poor because whenever my bank fills up, instead of just clearing it out like I should, I just choose to buy more bank space. Although at this point, I can't buy more bank space with that amount of GP. Wow, we got an elite casket. An another one. <laughs> another freaking elite from Thermi in like 100 KC. It's the third one. Here we go. <laughs> another. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, new Sarah page. Nice. Dude, an holy crap, another freaking master. So I don't accidentally attack the smoke devils. I'm gonna shift, right click, and then make the left click be walk here for them. That was happening a few times, which was a bit annoying. I was looking at the combat achievements for Thermi, and I saw I only have one left to do. So I figured I probably should get this done before I inevitably get super lucky with the jar and have to leave Thermi. I'd want to have this done already. Uh, so this last task is kill Thermi without it hitting anyone. I have a method I want to try out to kind of try to cheese the task. So to not take damage, what I should be able to do is come in here, freeze Thermi, and then just, I probably could have hit him a few times actually because of like being on long range or whatever with the trident. Um, but okay, here, we'll just wait till he gets unfrozen. Now he's kind of wandering over here. All I'm gonna do is just keep on using the spell on him. Going out, going back in, using the spell again. And if this, oh, I hit the other one, that's fine. Okay, I might have actually messed it up. Uh, we'll just see, it should die here though. Did we get the task? Oh, nice. Okay, well that's uh, all the Thermi tasks completed. Now I can just go back to mailing and finish up the task. There are some times after a kill where I have a decent amount of hit points left over, so in that case I just end up doing a two kill trip. Oh, a, a virtual, uh, wait, 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 virtual attack level of 104. Oh yeah, by the way, I started using food here. Uh, just when my prayer runs out is when I go back to the POH now, but I can stay here for like, maybe like four, five kills sometimes. No, you're ki you're kidding, dude. <laughs> I was supposed to get the D chain first. How am I gonna get the D chain now? I was just kidding before when I said I was gonna get the jar early. I wasn't. I didn't. Well, that's the Thermi log kind of completed. Uh, just like the Calphite Queen log. Um, because the Dragon Chain body isn't like specifically a unique from these guys. You also get them from Smoke Devils or Dust Devils. They're a one out of about 32k drop, so it would be very rare. But in terms of completionist, I'll probably have to go back to Calphite Queen at some point to get another head for the Green Slayer Helm recolor, since I had to use the first one to mount in the POH, which is just gone forever at this point. Uh, so I'll just, I'll, I'll get the D chain uh, in the future from Calphite Queen, most likely. For now though, I'll just finish up the last few kills on the task at the regular Smoke Devils. But I think it's pretty safe to say that I will never actually have to do this boss ever again. All right, let's add the Jar of P into the collection in the POH, and there is Thermi. I like the KQ one better though. Oh, you know what? I wasn't sure if these were actually in order before or if it just listed them because I had them. I thought if they were in order, maybe that meant I was gonna get served next, but no, I guess it's not how it worked out. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it as Calphite Queen because I think it's cooler and also fits the desert theme of my house. In the background, I've been working on woodcutting and fishing for my downtime because, you know, got a max by the way. And here's the XP I gained just throughout this video, 300k woodcutting XP and 166k fishing XP. So that's about 10 hours of skilling in the background. And update on the Slayer XP, currently 524k XP to 99, and that is what we're going to continue working on in the next video. I feel like this is just a, a nice place to wrap it up, a, a great happy ending, you know what I'm saying, boys. Anyways, with that said, make sure to check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel, which is linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.